Hello students, this is a week two recap video. This week we went over sections 1.4, section 1.5, and section 1.6. We're going to start with 1.4 again and recover some of the basics along with 1.5 and 1.6. Help you uh, bring together everything we learned this week and so we can move on next week. So for 1.4, we covered measuring segments and angles. Measuring segments, uh, you know the activity I had you do is measuring from one end of something or another, measuring length. So right, we measure segments from end point to end point. When we look at angles, a couple activities I had you do uh, deals with finding the best angle, and but those angles are found by using a protractor unless they're given to you and you can use mathematics to solve for the rest. Uh, we did cover the four types of angles which was straight, right, obtuse, and acute. Moving on to section 1.5 was basic constructions. All the constructions we did consisted of using a compass and a straight edge to you uh, to create those constructions and we constructed congruent angles angle bisectors and perpendicular bisectors so uh, if you don't remember those might be a good idea to go back and look at them um, if not uh, if you aren't able to uh, let me know and I can help you section 1.6 is the coordinate plane we went over how it was founded by Rene Descartes. He actually observed a fly on his ceiling is where he got the idea. And it kind of came along the lines of using numbers to find exact locations. He thought that uh, the fly moving from one location to another, there had to be a way to determine where those points were. So thus the coordinate plane. Lastly, we found distance in midpoints. Um, on that coordinate plane. So, right, if we use the grid we have here, we're able to find the distance between these two points using our formula. And we showed why that worked as well. All right, and then where the midpoint would be, we could calculate it, but rough estimates right now, that uh, is something right around that area. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I believe you have some assignments to do, so get to them.